Hello, Lewis and Clark. Happy springtime. This month, we're going to do something a little bit different. We're going to share our talents and practice being good audiences and encouraging one another. The title for this month's lesson is Movement Bazaar at the Caravan Sarai. What is a caravan sarai? Well, we're going to find out. The caravan sarais were like roadside inns along the Silk Road. The Silk Road was a trade route that ran from China to North Africa and Turkey. Caravans of animals and wagons and humans laden with silks and spices and all sorts of amazing things moved from China across Asia and to the Mediterranean. That's one of the reasons they called it the Silk Road, because they brought that fine, soft, luxurious fabric from China to the rest of the world. They didn't just move trade goods along the Silk Road. As people moved from continent to continent and town to town in caravanserai to caravanserai, they met other humans and they picked up different cultures and customs. Strange new dances, different kinds of music, different recipes for food, different ways to dress and talk. All of those things were shared among travelers at the caravanserai. Not only were these roadside inns places for them to escape the heat and the desert sands, watering themselves on their animals and relaxing, but it was also protection from the elements and to protect them from thieves who might steal their goods on their caravans. The thick walls surrounded the caravan Sarai, not only to protect them from the desert elements, but also from people who might have bad intentions. Once you stepped inside the caravanserai, it was all activity, people and animals, caravans laden with goods, lots of colorful trade goods, silks, spices, and many colorful stories. The stories and the experiences are what we're going to focus on today. Dancing and sharing our dances and sharing our talents and our skills and our stories with one another. So now it's time to take a stroll around the bazaar and see what's in the different stalls. What wares do people have to share? Stories, talents, skills, words. I've set up Padlet with four different stalls. Share and care slow and round. Share and care fast and fun. Share and care share your special skill. And share and care share your story. You can poke your head in every one of those stalls or just one, whichever one speaks to you. While you're in those stalls, look at what other people have posted. You can post a video, you can post a picture, you can share your words and just type text. Any of those things will work. Are you ready? Let's take a stroll. Do you like to spin around and around, looking at the sky, collapsing to the ground? I do. If you enjoy that too, then this is a stall for you. The dancers in these videos are all turning, but they're each doing it differently. Some have their arms in the air, some are wearing skirts that are spinning with them. Some of them are flipping their hair. Some of them are spinning with their arms out like a helicopter or a whirly gig. How would you turn? Would you do it slowly? How do you make yourself round when you turn? It's your turn to share. 
You can post a video or a picture or share your words. What are you going to do? It's hard to think of something to share. And sometimes it's hard because we're nervous or we're scared about sharing our talents with other people. Everybody feels that way. It takes courage or bravery to stand up in front of someone and show them how you feel or share something that is very important to you. That's why we as the audience are going to be supportive because we know what it's like. We can be supportive by dancing with them or doing a happy dance because we think it's so great that they're sharing with us. Or we can use our words. We can say, great job, awesome. We can make noise because we appreciate them. Remember our shakers? Or we can clap our hands, snap our fingers, stomp our feet. There are many ways to show our support. So after you've posted your talent, your slow and round, remember it can be a video or a picture or your words. Take a look at what other people have posted and respond with your own good job or happy dance or your noisemaker. Use the next three minutes to create your movement or something to share, something that's slow and round. Welcome to the Fast and Fun Stall. Here we're going to see how fast we can move and how much noise we can make. We're going to use our hands, we're going to use our feet, we're going to clap our hands, we're going to snap our fingers, we're going to bang pots and pans, we're going to shake our shakers. Watch these flamenco dancers. They've mastered the skill and the art of banging their feet, clapping their hands, dancing, turning, spinning. Listen to the people in the background shouting encouragement. Haleo, it's called in Spanish. Ole, eso. These Hungarian gypsies, or Romani people, are masters at body percussion. It's amazing to watch. I can do the clapping and the snapping, but when it gets really fast, it's really hard. Do you think you can do this? Do you want to give it a try? Let's watch it for a little bit. If you can't do the body percussion, try snapping your fingers. 
or maybe banging on a pot or a pan with a spoon or banging two pots together. Try and do it to the beat of the music. You can also play spoons, two spoons clacking them together. They make a really fun sound. And remember, you made a shaker last month. You can always shake that shaker. Shakers are tons of fun. Are you ready to move fast and have lots of fun while making lots of noise? What kind of dance are you going to do? Are you going to stomp your feet? Don't forget to encourage one another and support one another with your voices hooting and hollering when you think they've done a great job or with your words, showing them how much you appreciate what they're sharing with you. Or you can respond with your own happy dance because you thought what they just did was awesome. I've left a few minutes in the fast and fun stall for you to create your own fast and fun dance. Don't forget to share it on Padlet. Do you have a special skill that you'd like to share with us? Maybe it's something that didn't fit in the other two stalls. Maybe you like to turn somersaults or spin in a swing. Maybe you've trained your dog to do this really neat trick. This is a stall for you. We all have something that we're really good at, something that we'd like to share. You all know I'm a dancer and I like to dance. Many people have seen me dance and I share that skill with a lot of people, but I have other talents too. I can make a whistle with my hand. Have you ever tried that? Now it's your turn to share that special talent something that's all yours 100% that says hey that's Ashley or that's Eric it's a talent that you're very proud of and that you do very well we're all here to support you don't forget to cruise through that stall and give people reassurance and kudos and good jobs use your voices use your words use your noisemakers Use your happy dance.
If you have a story to tell, this is the stall for you. Tell us your story. You can tell us your story by using your words. You can tell us your story by using your dance. You can tell us your story by using your pictures. You can tell us your story by using your song. There are many ways to tell your story. This is the space to do it. Share something about you. We're all here to listen and support you. We can't wait to hear what you have to share or see or listen to what you have to share. You can talk about your pets. You can talk about friends. You can talk about your family. Maybe you took a really fun vacation. I've left the music playing for you as inspiration. And when it's over, whatever you have, post it to Padlet and share it with us. It could be a picture, it could be a video, it could be an audio recording, it could be your words, anything works.